What up, YouTube? Big Lou tapping back in with what it do with Big Lou and FZR2. No flies on Reekins 2. Uh, this is uh, the reaction video to Saturday night, August 20th, 2022. Boxing bouts that I uh, featured in a video on Friday. Um, there was three fights that I spoke about because all the other fights I didn't even... I never even heard of the people that fought. So we're going to start off with, and I was correct on all three fights that I that I predicted. Um, the first one was uh, Badu Jack. He fought Richard Rivera. He won in the split decision, which was a 10-round uh, fight. Also, um, Callum Smith, uh, he got a KO in the fourth round um, of a 12-round fight against Matthew... Bowder, Bowder Lique, French gentleman. Um, he won that. And then in the main event, it was Us, uh, Olexander Usyk, the current WBA, WBO, IBF, IBO champion, uh, was uh, in a rematch against the ex two time champion, Anthony Joshua. So. Usyk won, like I predicted. Um, so now his record is 20 and 0 with 13 knockouts, and I believe uh, Joshua's record now is 24 and 3, because now he's lost twice to uh, Usyk and he lost once to Anthony, uh, uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. And um, uh, Usyk's defense, they said, was excellent, uh, though. They said his defense was excellent, and it needed to be. Joshua rocked him several times in the fight, but Usyk managed to avoid so many shots and might well have proven himself the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world with that performance. Uh, WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury has the only belt that Usyk needs to be the undisputed champ again at a second weight division. Um, he was previously the, the undisputed king at 190, which is cruiserweight. And he's looking, he's looking to do that again and make history. The only guy in the four belt era to be undisputed at cruiserweight and heavyweight. Uh, so uh, uh, Fury retired in the ring after his beating of Dillian White in April. And then he unretired for a couple of days two weeks ago, but said he re retired again. Uh, Usyk says he wants Fury, but that if he doesn't get Fury, he won't fight again. I don't understand that one. Joshua was much better this time uh, than his first outing. Uh, he was able to make some adjustments. I, he came out like in the ninth round, was doing some good. He was doing some good things going in the ninth round. But Usyk, being the champion he is, he came out tenth, eleventh, to twelfth round, the championship rounds, and just dominated. He did the same thing that Joshua did in the ninth round. Um, he was much better, like I said, but he happened to go against one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. So, you know, Usyk uh, won a split decision to retain the IBF, WBA, and WBO titles. He also has the IBO, which is not recognized as a major world title. But he still carries it. It's still a gold belt. He still carries it around with him. Um, there's been other notable champions of the IBO, such as uh, Triple G. Uh, Bernard Hopkins has held it before, and I even think Canelo's held it before. Um... He boxed brilliantly, surviving a strong body attack by uh, Joshua. That was a difference, too. Joshua, this time, he attacked the body a lot more. He worked the body. Um, as everybody knows, he got rid of his... Well, I don't know if everybody knows, but I had said it in the previous video that he had got rid of his longtime trainer, Robert McCracken, and he went with Robert Garcia this time. Who Robert Garcia has trained many champions uh, and many contenders. Um He says he's sure Tyson Fury's not retired, and I'm sure he wants to fight me, Usyk said. I want to fight him, but I am not fighting Tyson Fury. I'm fighting... If I'm not fighting Tyson Fury, I'm not fighting at all. So I think that has something to do with what his country's going through right now. Um, there was a judge... It should have been a unanimous decision. There was a judge named Glenn uh, Fried, uh, Fieldman, 
scored about 115-113 for Joshua, and the other two judges scored it 116-112 and 115-113 from Usyk. And Yahoo Sports had it 116-112. So 116-112 is eight rounds to four, right? Uh, I don't know how that other judge had it for Joshua. Uh, what a performance by Usyk. Joshua uh, promoter Eddie Hearn said that 10th round was one of the best rounds I've seen. It turned that fight around, and what he did in the 10th, 11th, and 12th was incredible. That was the difference, and he's speaking to Usyk. Um, Joshua lost his titles to Usyk in Tottenham, England in September, leading to Saturday's rematch. Joshua made a series of changes, like I just mentioned, his trainer. Joshua was unquestionably better, but Usyk was remarkable. He threw a whopping 712 punches, and his head and upper body movement not only helped him slip so many shots from Joshua, but it left him in position to crack Joshua with counter punches. Yeah, he's a hell of a counter puncher. Um, with this victory, you know, like they're saying, he's... He's a, uh, uh, you know, definitely one or two top, you know, in the pound for pound, um, ex gold medalist as well. I, I think I believe he's a gold medalist. Yeah, he's a gold medalist, and uh, he did his thing. So you know, we'll see what happens. I uh, Tyson Fury can box. Everybody knows he can box, but he's so big and tall that he's. And sometimes his arms are so fucking long that his heart, his boxing looks funny to me. You know, that's just my opinion, but. Usyk is 6'3", and Usyk's not a small man. He's 6'3". Yeah, his weight in his, 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 isn't as heavy as a as a Joshua or a Fury. But 6'3", that's, I mean, that was considered a large man at one time. You know, now you got, you know, uh, Fury 6'9", uh, uh, Wilder 6'7", Joshua 6'6". You know, you got, you had that Russian dude that was 7 foot, right? So a lot of these heavyweights nowadays are tall guys, you know. But 6'3", at one point, would be considered tall. George Foreman, 6'3", you know. Uh, Holyfield, 6'2". Lennox Lewis, 6'5". Mike Tyson, 5'11". You know what I'm saying? So, uh, George uh, Muhammad Ali was 6'1", 6'2". You know, 6'2", I think he was. You know, George, uh, Frazier was 6'5", foot, 5'11", 6'. Foot. So, it's just, uh, I believe Usyk can get him with his boxing skills, his sticking and moving, his counter punching. The only problem I believe he might have is if, Fury does what he did to Wilder in, number, in fight two, where he, you know, uh, pushed up on him, bullied him with his body, you know, trying to tire him out by pushing up on him, making him hold his weight up, you know, pushing against his weight. You know, uh, I don't believe Fury. Yeah, I mean, uh, Wilder. Yeah, Wilder has a stronger punch than um, Usyk, I believe, than most guys. But he has better boxing skills, and he's, I believe he's stronger as far as body-wise than, than, than uh, Wilder. I believe um, he can get away with it. I believe he can, he can get it off. I think, I think it's time. Fury's time. He's been exposed as far as some of the things that he can do. Some of the, and we know what he can do. You know what I mean? But, you know, yeah, he beat Wilder. But in my book, you know, he, Wilder's dropped him like five times. You know what I mean? So... You can't say you're a perfect heavyweight getting dropped five times. I, I just don't, you know what I mean? I don't I don't see that. I don't see that. Usyk's never been down. Um, and so if they ever fight, I'm taking Usyk. I just, you know, like I said, I like to take the underdog a lot. And I believe his skills will get him over the hump against Fury if they ever fight. Um, if they don't fight and, and Fury, well, Fury continues to stay on the retirement trail, then Usyk's saying that he won't fight no more. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. He only has 20 fights, but the thing is, he's an older guy. He started boxing late like Lomachenko. Um, you know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. But with that being said, Big Lou's going to go ahead and tap on out, put this video through. Um, be sure to catch it today on the No Fly Zone Recons at uh, 4.45 p.m. Pacific, uh, Pacific time, excuse me, 7.45 Eastern time. We're going to have a few guests on from different channels. And also, we're asking that all our uh, anybody that su uh, supports the No Fly Zone, all our Latino brothers and sisters, all come together um, to stand in unity against racism. There's been a content creator in another genre that has been calling. They went, well, he went after us and said the definition of the No Fly Zone is this, 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 and this. And he, he gave all kinds of fucked up definitions of what a Puerto Rican is. And then he also attacked Cubans and Mexicans. And I believe the only reason he only attacked Puerto Ricans, Cubans, and Mexicans because that's only three nationalities of Latinos he knows. He can't, he couldn't tell you the rest of them because he's not that bright, you know. But he thinks he's very smart. So we want everybody to come together to push back 
on this, uh, you know, give this this guy some, this 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 not, uh, moron some uh, pushback, you know, because there's no place for racism uh, at all. Period. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter who you hate. Hate is not. There's no place for hate. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, we appreciate it, Nelson, Carlos, and myself at the No Fly Zone, and also what to do with Big Lou, NFZR2. That uh, each and every Latino that can make it um, come and support the channel and support the pushback against the racism. With that being said, Big Lou tapping on out with what to do with Big Lou NFZR2.